question number nine from the CST geometry release test questions. Which figure can serve as a counterexample to the conjecture below? If one pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral is parallel, then the quadrilateral is also a parallelogram. Uh, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. We have these choices. One of them is going to prove this statement here incorrect because it will be a counterexample of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram. So uh, let's take a look at some diagrams here. Just move this off to the side a bit. And if you notice in this Venn diagram here, we have this blue box represents all quadrilaterals. This red circle represents all parallelograms. Uh, the blue circle is all rectangles, and the yellowish circle represents all rhombuses. And you'll see at the intersection point of rhombuses and rectangles, you have squares. So squares are both rectangles and rhombuses. Okay? But not all rhombuses are rectangles, and not all rectangles are rhombuses. But all rectangles, squares, and rhombuses fall into the category of parallelograms. Outside of that scope, we have trapezoids. So trapezoids have one pair of opposite sides, but they don't have two, which is required for a parallelogram. You can actually see in this Venn diagram a little bit better the examples of what a rhombus is, a square, a rectangle, and parallelograms in general. A trapezoid, on the other hand, has a shape that has two sides parallel. This side is parallel to this side but this side is not parallel to this side. Okay. Um, so obviously in this question our answer would be D. Our counterexample would be D, proving that not all quadrilaterals that have one pair of opposite sides are a parallelogram.